Yes, I need to clean up my cuticles, but I'm sitting here doing work for work and painted my nails. So I have two coats of charcoal and one coat of star chaser on so far. The ones that don't have um, this over the top have a clear coat on the top, which I just picked up at the color store, which works really well. It's from LA Colors. I really love this stuff for a top coat super inexpensive never lets me down this actually helps my nail polish down about three days before it all peels off because i have an oily nail bed so i love this holographic nail polish it's so fucking awesome i even bought some for my friend louise because of, oh my god you're gonna die when i send you this i still haven't mailed it yet but i bought it for her does that count Yes, these are the two polishes I'm wearing. Star Chaser and Charcoal from Copacetic Cosmetics. I love this, like, burgundy color. The fall maroon shade. And then this one over top of it. It doesn't really need a base coat, but if you do, you can do three coats of this and it's fine. Or you can do, like, a dark polish underneath. And then it looks like this. You can also put it over light stuff, too. And yes, I'm the weirdo that still writes with actual pencil. And yes, this one has my name. That's because I'm one of those weirdos. I also use these kinds of pencils, but when I'm doing homework stuff that's related to work, um, I like to write with actual real pencils, you know. But all of this is like training stuff for Nike. So, yay. I'm making this post because I really need help. This is my sister's house or what is left of it because last night her husband set it on fire and burnt it to the ground, taking everything that she owns. So Jason just came in here a few minutes ago with Allstate, which I kept getting a text. That's what that thing is that I sent you. Uh, asking a bunch of questions and stuff, and I'm in the middle of training. As you can hear yeah, like she's asking me all these questions and she's like, how many hours have you lost and how this and that and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, let's see. I lost about five hours the other day and now I'm losing time. And she's like, well, I didn't fucking call you. I called Jason. I'm like, what the fuck? Let the train go. Train go. Train go. I don't wanna lose. See ya. No, I don't wanna. So I've told people before that I have like an oily nail bed and that I have a hard time with nail polish like staying on my nails. Now, as you can see, I'm missing a couple of nails and I painted my nails a couple days ago. The polish that didn't have the holographic polish on it only lasted for like two days. But this is what usually happens. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. See? It literally just peels right off my nail. This is what polish does on my nails. I can't keep anything on for more than two or three days. 
because I literally can just peel the polish right off my finger. So, um, as a retired cosmetologist who's done nails for a profession, I know that I have tried the, like, buffing my nails to, like, rough them up before I polish on. I have tried alcohol, 91% alcohol on my nail beds to dry them out before I put nail polish on. I have tried acetone to dry out my nail beds before I put them on. Um, I have to be very careful with um, lay acrylic nails because I have an allergy to the liquid that they use for the mixing medium there. So I can't use certain polishes and stuff due to the chemicals in them. Um, the only polish that I've ever been able to wear for more than three days is the Julep polishes when they went out of business. So these are the copacetic ones. These seem to last the longest on my nails. Most polish doesn't even last like 12 hours before the whole thing like peels off. So literally I can just take my nails and just peel the polish right off of them. And then I go and I take uh, acetone and remove the rest of it off. But if anybody has any suggestions on how I can get my nail polish to last longer than like two or three days, um, I would be eternally grateful because as a retired professional from this field, I've tried everything I know how to do, and I'm not going to go ruining my nails with gel or acrylic. Um, I just want pretty colors on my nails to last longer than two or three days. So I'm waiting on my system to fix itself for work, and then I can go back to work. But I'm just sitting here just looking at my nails, and the, the one on this finger keeps getting caught on stuff. That's why I knew it was time to peel it off because I literally, and look at this, I'm just sitting here peeling the nail polish right off my fingernails because that's what it does. It literally will peel right off to my nail bed. So if any of you nail gurus out there have any suggestions for me that I haven't tried, I will try it because I literally, uh, you know, I have, I, I keep an orange on my desk because like, I sit here and I paint my nails when I'm at work because I like to have pretty colors on my nails. They don't, they legit don't last. I have tried different variations of base coats and ridge fillers and where you like buff the nail surface so that it's got a little bit of like texture on it. And again, the alcohol tricks and stuff like that have done it all. None of it's worked. So any suggestions, leave it down below because I want to know if you guys have any tricks that I haven't tried yet. Um, and the gel nails and something is not something that I'm, I'm looking at doing because um, I know I have reactions to acrylic nails and I know the chemicals in gel are very similar. And so I'm not, I'm not um, wanting blisters on my fingers again. So anyways, leave them down below. I'm interested. Acquiring minds want to know. Okay, so I have to go to work here in a second. Yes, I'm wearing my pajamas. I look like a mess. I'm in between work stuff. I have class, going to work, have a small break, then I go back to work. So... I just got my copacetic order in and I ordered one of their gloss. I love these little things. I've got, I got a whole bunch of them. They're like, these are like all little minis and stuff that I have. So, um, I love supporting POC and indie brands. This one here is like stunning. I don't even think the camera is going to do it justice. It's like the color of that Lele Posh shadow serpentine that I really love. And it also matches a shade from that Shane collection that um, Heffrey, Heffrey Nar um, did with, um, you know, wants to fuck his cat. So um, there's this Twilight Companion shade from Copacetic that I used the other day with my Nomad palettes. This is legit just sitting right here on my makeup station. So I got this, I ordered this a while back and I've been waiting on it and I just got my fairy collections. Um, well, I don't know if these are the fairy collections. One was supposed to be eyeshadows and one was supposed to be like eyeshadows and face products. So I haven't done like a full unboxing. I have so many, just to show you. Look at all my little cutie boxes over there I've got to get done. There's like seven over there between orders from Copacetic that I got to do and uh, my cutie, my monthly cutie boxes I have. So I have Fairy Realm, which is like a holographic shadow that is here. And then this one is 8-bit. I'm a sucker for greens and anything holographic. So I have their holographic nail polish that I just took off my nails. Actually, my nails are stained from um, that charcoal shade that they have. So I got this shade in in 
Bruja, which basically means witch in um, Spanish. And then this is one of their gloss collections in depth. I wanted to put this on because I'm fixing to go to work. No one's going to see me, but I always swirl it in the tube. Let's do this together. Now this is like a thick, like weird feeling gloss to me. And again, I swirl it in the tube. Kind of looks like I got dirty lips, huh? This is a really strange gloss formula. So for example, the JD Glow glosses are like thick and kind of gloopy. Um, they're like very, very thick. The, Co the Nomad Cosmetic glosses are more kind of thick and sticky. These are like, it's like wearing satin sitting on something that's satin because you kind of slide off of it. So these are not like thick formulas. These are like kind of like a, um, a more condensed lip oil kind of thing. So not sticky like an actual oil or like a gloss, but they're kind of like slidey. And this is really pretty. I'm going to put it on my hand too, just so you guys can see. The pigmentation is there. And it's the green shade. So I'm going to swatch the shadow next to it. This is Twilight Companion. And I think this is like, this is like the lip gloss formula for this is what it, what I was thinking when I got it. And I love their gloss formulas. Now this is actually a liquid, liquid lipstick. I have a love hate relationship with these, but again, this is in Bruja, but it's like this beautiful, like multi-chrome. I have some Davina and JD Glow shadows that look like this, which is why I got it. Cause I figured why not? Cause um, I like my stuff to kind of match. This has one of those like doe foots that has a little hole in the center. So it holds product in it. Looks like a JJ if you ask me, but you know, so. This is not a very good swatch. Let me swirl this. Her liquid lipsticks are a little bit more on the drier formula just to kind of put them on, just to give you an idea. And um, Rachel comes up with some really, really pretty colors. So between, there are like four indie brands that I buy the most. Davina Cosmetics, JD Glow, Copacetic, and Nomad. Those are the ones that I mainly buy from. I will not buy from Terra Moons ever again, even though they are a Hispanic based indie brand, I will never buy from them again. Their customer service is trash. I never could get any help with my order and my order came in broken and they didn't do anything for me. So I will never support them again. But look at the shift on the Bruja. Now this will dry down and it will stay. I've got another one of their, this is one of their bullet lipsticks. This is my favorite bullet lipstick from them right now. This is Blackberry Jam and it does stain on the lips. I think if I did this and then put this over it, I think that would be a really pretty base. Let me do that. I'll do a wider swatch here, and then I really gotta get to work. I have to work like soon. Let me put the Bruja over it and see what that does. I bet it's gonna change colors and be really pretty. Oh, it brings out more of that maroon color. Okay, so it kind of looks more orange in the camera, but over the the lipstick, it's pulling more of the, the colors of the lipstick. So here it kind of looks more like yellow and green, but over here it looks more orange. This is why I love these multi-chromes. Look at that, now you can see the purple shift in it. Isn't that awesome? So to recap, we have Blackberry Jam here. Blackberry Jam with Bruja, and then Bruja. This is Depth here, the Glossed. And then this is Twilight Companion in the Shadow. All from Copacetic Cosmetics. They're all the same brand. So this is an independently owned makeup brand by a Latina woman named Rachel. She makes some amazing things. They're really reasonably priced, especially their $2 Tuesdays. Anyways, I'm gonna go, um, is this, oh yeah, this is already dry. Look at this, and, um, a little bit of shimmer came off on my finger. Let me do a really heavy. Okay, if you push really hard, you can get product off. So, and this is my Good Molecules little makeup thing. So, just figured I'd do this, this color. 
would probably be better over like a dark lipstick so that way and i do have a black lip gloss lip lip stick somewhere i can try and do a swatch over later anyways but this just came in i've been waiting for it and then i also picked up her brush soap that's got this really pretty like green thing in it the tranquility brush soap so i got this as well because I have a few dirty brushes. Um, I don't like to keep dirty brushes because, you know, bacteria, and I'm like super a freak about that. But I'm trying to get the lid off so you guys can see the pretty design in here. Uh, again, it's got green. I'm a sucker for green. I really do love anything that's green. So this is their solid brush soap. I was also looking at the one that my friend Shelly makes from Quirky Creations. It's very similar to this. I want to compare the ingredients, but I'm set for brush soap for right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Um, this would probably also be really pretty with this, uh, this other green. Anyways, I will see you later. Hopefully you enjoy this quick little, like, unboxing and try on swipey thing. And, um, see you guys later. Bye.